So in this video, we've got a discrete variable z, which has a uniform distribution over 20, 21, 22, 23, all the way up to n. Part a, express var z in terms of n. Now, this is what's given to us in the formula booklet. Now, remember here that x is defined as having a probability of 1 over n for each of its values of r, which goes from 1 up to n. Here we're going from 20 up to n. OK, so don't get confused. This n is not the same as that n here. OK, so be very wary of that. So for part A, express var of z in terms of n. Well, we know that the variance will be maintained if we just translate the variables left and right. So this distribution will have the same variance as this one if the number of terms is the same. OK, because they're both going up in ones, so it's just going to be down to the number of terms that we've got. So comparing this with this, this one is 19 behind this one. So if I subtracted 19 from each of these values, I would get this one. So actually, the nth term that you've got there should actually be n take away 19. So let's change that to n take away 19. So consequently, that would be n take away 19, right? So then the variance would also have n take away 19. So var of z would be equal to n take away 19 squared take away 1 over 12. Remember, the variance I know isn't going to be any different um, from uh, a distribution that has the same number of values in it. But the point here is that I need to express it in terms of this n here, not in terms of the n that I had originally there. So what I now need to do is just simplify that. So I'm going to expand out the numerator. n squared take away 38n. And then we've got 19 squared take away 1, which is plus 360, over 12. So that is the variance of z written in terms of this n that we have here. OK. So part B, given that n is 103, find the probability of the modulus of z take away mu being less than sigma. Now, remember what those modulus signs here mean. This would mean that this is the probability of z take away mu being between minus sigma and positive sigma. OK, now I can rewrite that also. I'll write it down here because I'm going to run out of space otherwise. By adding mu to both sides, this is mu take away sigma is less than z is less than mu plus sigma. So that's adding mu to both sides of the inequality. So I need to find mu and I need to find sigma. Now. What I'll do first is I'll find sigma, because I've got variance of z here. So when n is 103, the variance of z is going to be equal to, so 103 squared, take away 38 lots of 103, plus 360, divided by 12. So 103 squared, take away 38 lots of 103, plus 360, divided by 12, and I get 7,055 over 12. OK, so that's my variance. So I need the square root of that for sigma. 7,055 over 12. And we get... 
etc. So we now want to find mu. Now, mu could be found fairly easily because essentially it's the median position in this list from 20 up to 103. So that's not going to be too bad to find. If you want to use the formulae, we've got to be a little bit careful because remember that n is not the same as this n up here. So we do have to watch our step. So mu is e of z, of course, which is going to be equal to e of... Now, if we return to the original distribution that we've got here, so we had this as up to n, and of course that was n. OK. So mu is equal to e of z, which is equal to e of x uh, plus 19. Because if I added 19 to each of those elements, I would get each of those. OK. And we know that is e of x plus 19. Now, what's e of x? Well, here, we're not going up from 1 up to 103, uh, because this is 20 up to 103, and we've shifted it. So it needs to be 19 short of 103, which is 84. So we need to use 84 here, 84 plus 1 over 2. And then we've got to add on the 19. So 84 plus 1 divided by 2 plus the 19, and we get 61.5. Okay, so it's a little bit of a um, long-winded way to get there, but um, just so you're kind of like seeing the formula being used and you're not kind of getting caught out, which is very easy to do on this problem. So, this is what we want to find. We want to find the probability of z being greater than mu take away sigma. So, what I need is 61.5 take away 24.24, which is 37.26, is less than z, it's less than mu plus sigma, which is 60. Uh, so I have 61.5, and then I've got to add 24.24. Yeah, that's right. So 85.74. OK. Now we've seen that because we're using a discrete distribution here, the 37.26, Z can never actually be that. But Z's got to be greater than that. So this is the same as me saying that Z has got to be greater than or equal to 38. And it can't actually get to 85.74, so this is the same as me saying z has got to be less than or equal to 85, OK? Because it's got to be less than 85.74, so the next integer down will be 85. OK. Now, between 85 and 38, 85 take away 38, but then you've got to add one on because you've got to include the 38 would be 48 times by the probability that we have, OK? So that means how many values have we got from 20 up to 103? Well, it's 103, take away the 20, then add the 1. So it was the 84 that I had here. So we've actually got 48 over 84, and that gets us a probability of 4 sevenths. Okay, so that is how we solve this problem.